Well, good afternoon. My name is Jenny Lee Hodgins, and I have with me one of my longtime friends, Jean Shinley, who is speaking with me today from Dunedin, Florida. I'm up here in Lexington, Kentucky, and I uh, just wanted to remind you what I do, and then I'll introduce Jean and ask her a few questions to help you get to know, you know what I do through my friend Jean, who I've worked with as a creative memorial planning coach. So for those of you who don't know me, I help 50 plus adults, caregivers, people like me, families, veterans, explore earth-friendly, cost-reducing alternatives to traditional funeral plans that are far more personalized with less or even zero corporate and or religious involvement. And I help people map out a personalized creative memorial plan. I got to this place of becoming a creative memorial planning coach, for those of you who haven't seen my earlier messages, through l losses of my own, tragedies that were unexpected, as well as helping other people through their losses. And Jean is a longtime friend who is one of those persons I was um, instrumental with helping get her husband, her late husband's memorial uh, planned and uh, completed. So <laughs> I wanted to first of all just say hi Jean and thank you for joining me. Hey good morning Jenny. Hi. <laughs> so I just wanted to ask you know just for my audience sake so that they know a little bit better what I do and how that impacts people who are surviving a loss. I'm going to ask you a few questions and I, you and I know that this is very personal so share whatever you want. Hold back anything you want. When your husband Jim Shinley passed away what was the situation regarding memorial planning before you involved me? Well, we had no plan. I know um, my husband was a very rigorous uh, Buddhist practitioner. Mm -hmm. So I knew if he passes away that we would definitely do something along those lines of as far as his Buddhist practice. But he was so determined to overcome this illness that we couldn't even go to planning a, a memorial because he was not going to die. He was going to, you know, live. He was determined. So, so in other words, we had no plan. Right, right. And I want to clarify for my audience, um, that's how you and I and Jim know each other, that we all happen to be uh, Buddhist practitioners with SGI USA, just for people that don't know what that's all about. That's how I met them. And Jim was uh, a very connected person in, in terms of he reached out to so many young people and so many people within the community and within our Buddhist organization. So there were a lot of people that felt the impact of, you know, the loss of Jim Shinley. So, um, and, and I re remember his determination fondly. He was a, he was definitely a fighter up to the very last moment. Um, yeah. I want to ask, you know, I know this is hard because I, I was there when that happened and I know, um, I know the impact that it had on you and how, and your family that was with you and how hard that was having no plan, which is a big part of the message that I'm sending my audience have a plan because yeah. <laughs> you know, it impacts people. Right. So can you be a little bit specific as specific as you're comfortable with being about what tangible results did you feel you got from my personal involvement regarding Jim's memorial agenda, the program, the setup or any personalized aspects? Oh, sure. Well, you have had some experience with this with your own family and, you know, other clients, but, for me, um, I totally was not functioning well at all, you right. know, because of grief and shock. Mm -hmm. So to have you there, I really could relax. And I just knew that you were going to handle it for me. I'm sorry, I kind of jumped it all on you probably, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> you had the experience and you were or so organized and knew what to do. I was just able to, um, you know, support my family to the best that I could at the time and not have to worry about all those details that you did. I really appreciate you sharing that. And mm -hmm. I feel like for my audience that's watching, this is like a precautionary tale. You know, um, if, as long as you start the conversation with your loved ones and start thinking about your plan and, and get it in as much detail as you can, as hard as it is to talk about death, the more prepared you are with the more details you have laid out for your family members, nobody has to really, you know, 
suffer from that. And that's where I kind of stepped up with your situation. And that's exactly the function that I would have for any of my uh, clients now. Can you tell me what is your, or what was your overall impression and experience working with me as your creative memorial planning coach? Kind of like what I said, I felt like I could focus on my family and not have to be worried about all these details that you took care of. Um, as soon as, I mean, the first day after Jim passed away, you were right there at my kitchen table. And, you know, <laughs> with my with, laptop. <laughs> yeah, we were able to put out the obituary immediately. We were able to come up with um, an overall plan, an agenda, and you knew who to contact. Mm. So there were, it was a huge um, kind of a celebration of life that we had. It was standing room only. There were people standing outside. Two rooms. And, um, yeah. You had, were so detail oriented with um, a couple of the other people that helped you. I mean, down to having tissues and bottles of water and flowers and, and entertainment, music. It was just beautiful. And I didn't have to do any of that. I was just, like I said, focused on my own grief and my family, you know, holding it all together. Thank so you I really for yeah, sharing that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. So yeah. I was just dreaming about Jim last night, actually. Oh, it was, really? Yeah, I can't remember the details, but, you know, it's been almost six years since he passed away already, and I still feel so close to him. And I know I was thinking about him last night, and then sure enough, I was dreaming about him. And I can't remember the details, but I just know it was very comforting. So thank you, Jim. <laughs> he knows we're talking about him today. Yeah, right. What's up? What's up? <laughs> um, right. And yeah, I, as you mentioned, I worked with another very longtime friend of mine, Tina, on that memorial. And Tina taught me a lot about what I know. And um, as you know, um, was it last year? Uh, yeah, last year, Tina passed away suddenly. So I... I really felt that the experience I've had through dealing with your family, as well as my own personal losses and other people whose um, memorials and end of life plannings I've had to deal with, with the help of my friend Tina, when she passed away, that really kind of came to fruition for me. And I felt like, wow, you know, like all of that training really was useful <laughs> to really, you know, help my, you know, through my friend's uh, tribute. Um, right. And that's really the, my backstory about why I do this because I've been through it so many times and I see, I have seen so many people go through what you went through with not having a plan and mm -hmm. how hard that is on surviving loved ones. And people don't want to talk about it, but the thing is that like, like I say in other messages I've made, death is just natural. It's just as natural as a butterfly coming out of a, you know, chrysalis and it, life moves on, life changes. And so I feel like this kind of thing, you know, having a, an open conversation about it and sharing with people the impact of having a plan, that's really my passion. That's really why I'm doing this. So I really want to thank you, my friend, Jean, for, for being here and sharing even such a personal message with people, because I think it really brings home that message. And I do want to ask though, and it's hard because we're re, re, revisiting, you know, a loss and the grief that goes with that. And uh, I'm very cognizant of that. But if you could think of it, could anything have gone better in terms of how, uh, you know, the memorial planning could have gone with my involvement? Could anything have gone a little better than it did? And anything else? The only thing I was thinking of was that, and this is on me, I mean, I was thinking maybe halfway through the week before this event was planned that we might run out of space and that maybe we should <laughs> a larger venue, but right. I didn't even um, go there at the time. So that was the only thing that might've helped us, you know, to have a little bigger facility, but yeah. we couldn't have foreseen the kind of outpouring of people that we had. <laughs> so hindsight. Yeah. And we have us, and for people that don't know, our Buddhist uh, uh, facility there in Tampa is kind of small. I, I think, I don't know. We, we had two full rooms and and a third room where people were standing only for that. Um, this is an this really indicates how influential Jim's personality was on so many people. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe at least two hundred people were there, and we didn't anticipate. I didn't anticipate it either. So that's a really good point to um, 
again, point to the idea of thinking in advance for people who have someone that has a position, like Jim was a professor and also a, a faith leader in the Buddhist organization. So his um, impact was vast on many, many people. And that's something really to consider the, the, the facility itself. But I do want to say in hindsight, you know, it was an amazing memorial and the people that came, you know, they were happy to stand, stand be standing room only. It was just, there was so much love for you, your family and for Jim I think it turned out the best way it possibly could have turned out with the limited amount of time we had to, to prepare it. Yes. But thank you. It was any, awesome. Sorry. Anything else you want to add? No, I think that does. <laughs> thank you, Jenny. Thank oh, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I just wanted to share this so that people get a little more personalization of, you know, or a personalized inside view, look at what I've been doing. And thank you, my friend Jean, for sharing that. Yeah, I wish you well. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you.